or uh it really depends are you a milf man uh, i'm a milf man. i'm a butt and tits man what's that mean it means i like giant but giant butts and giant tits i'm neither damn that's why you can't remember me but uh. but <laughs> you have do you have what? Uh, so I used to use this phrase. Well, long before I was in porn, I used to have. There were certain girls. I would say they have firecracker eyes. Okay. And you have caught you have firecracker eyes, and it's with it is a foolproof method from my foolproof method for determining whether or not a girl is good in bed. If she has firecracker eyes, then she's one hundred percent guaranteed to be good in bed. What? You're not doing them right now because you're, what, doing, you're, you're, pulling, you're pulling a weird face. No, I'm, I, I don't understand like what <laughs> it's, expression it's, pulls firecracker off firecracker. Eye, firecracker eyes is just about eye contact. It's about how a girl <laughs> that painting your camera. Yeah, right. <laughs> try and make that. Fi- try and make firecracker eyes to the audience up here oh, uh, with the camera. No, the camera's up there. I know, I know, but I'm like. Hmm. Hmm. No. <laughs> <laughs> you can't do it if you're trying to do it. <laughs> That's the whole point. <laughs> I know that there's this like look I give somebody, and it's like you can, re- it's like when you're like front on, like you're about to fight each other. You know, like I feel like it's like an aggressive like face. Yeah, it's your, it's your, like it's your, it's your resting bitch face. Oh, yeah. yeah, I see. Yeah, I need to just be more of a bitch. No, I don't think you. I I, I I prefer you when you're smiling. Okay. Okay. That's why I think you, because that's because when we were fucking, mm-hmm. you, and the cameras are off, you broke character and you were smiling. <laughs> what can I say? Like dick. Yeah, All right. Yeah. <laughs> Different. Different. Um. Yeah. See. See. Timmy agrees with me on point. Sterling. Damn eyes. Right. See. I don't know what you're talking about. Um. Let's have. We, we can't. We can't do a very very super long show today. Unfortunately. I feel like we could though, because you. I feel like I could talk to you for for a while. You got a lot of uh, a lot of things going up on up here in this noggin of yours. Uh, let's have a quick look at some very interesting DMs that you receive. Oh, look at that eye roll. Do you do you, uh, do you go through your message requests very often? Oh yeah. Yeah, because you said you before you'd like to talk to your fans and things. So I would assume that you would uh, invest. Do you reply to them though, or do you just scan them for fun? Yeah. Okay. Okay. I read them. But I can't reply because then they d- they never leave me alone. Yeah, I get that. I get that. Uh, Cameron Pasha seventy two. Thank you very much sir, for the five dollars super chat. You're welcome to ask a question if you have a question. Uh, by the way, um, you know I'm I'm open to answering everyone's questions here. Uh, let's have a quick read of this lovely <laughs> lovely uh, Instagram DM. Uh, I absolutely adore you. I would love to be your devoted and faithful husband and take total care of you so you can spend all of your time and energy going out and having fun with other guys. I am super open-minded in this area, and I love when my lady goes out to play. I promise to always treat you like the goddess you are. Please let me bring you to sunny and warm Florida in the United States so I can treat you like a proper queen. I like that. I like that. Do you? Yeah. Do you really like that? You didn't reply to him enough. You didn't like enough to reply to him. Do you like that? You just like the ego validation of that. Yeah. Ha ha. <laughs> yeah. How much? Okay. That's how much. How much does it stroke your ego when you go through your Instagram DM? No, it's more like a bit of faith in humanity has been restored. Really? How mm-hmm. so? Well, I mean, okay. So unfortunately, like when I started making money online. I attracted a lot of people who used me for money. Hmm. Like they would just like ask me to pay for shit for them all the time. Right. In your personal mm-hmm. life, you mean. And then like I've also experienced a lot of people that try to possess me and own me as like a person and they nearly destroyed what I was trying to build, right? Hmm. So when someone's like, it would be my dream to just exist to support you so that you can do whatever the fuck you want i'm like wow like that exists that's cool right yeah but he's still not getting your attention no because i don't want it from him who do you want it from i don't uh, don't not him (laughs) (laughs) not that guy (laughs) no offense random internet user (laughs) sorry uh do you ever get dudes with blue check marks sliding up in your dms yeah yeah uh if you could I don't want you to dox anyone because uh, I don't want to get my ass sued into oblivion. If you could 
categorize are we talking uh like athletes comedians actors are you nodding at all of these so lots all all kinds of athletes musicians musicians youtube celebrities mm, not no, really not really uh comedians though but i don't go for comedians anymore mm, okay. i don't want to be the joke ouch, <laughs> ouch. uh but you said act- actors you said yeah yeah what kind of athletes Basketball. Basketball players? I that? like climbing trees. <laughs> Wait, you like climbing? Does that mean you like tall guys? Is that what that means? Yeah. Okay. I was like, I'm like imagining one right now. I was like, what the <laughs> fuck does she mean by that? Oh, okay. <laughs> she likes climbing trees. I've never heard a girl use that expression. That's interesting. Snaking it, climbing trees. Yeah, that's a couple. We're getting a couple. Yeah. Like, you know what? Uh, Aria Carson was on the show a couple of days ago. She introduced me to, the, to a new expression called, uh, have you heard the phrase balloon knot? Yeah, for your butthole. Yeah. Why did I not know this? All the girls know this fucking expression, and mm-hmm. I didn't know this. God damn it. It's a good one. Yeah, I like that. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm quite the fan of ladies' buttholes, I have to admit. You know? And that's only a bit of, that's only since I've gotten into porn. I feel like I've gotten a lot more perverted since I got into porn. Because you kind of need to, as a guy, you kind of need, like, to keep yourself there, to keep your edge, to keep yourself sharp you gotta gotta look for more and more kind of perverted things and it's a bit it can be a bit of a dark rabbit hole at times i think mm. hmm. yeah i stay pure and i of, limit my of course exposure do. of course you do mm-hmm. yeah you just you bake I bake uh, cakes you bake cakes instead mm-hmm. to keep your innocence to keep yourself yep. pure it's, it's the wifey vibes got to keep up you know to keep my wholesomeness i mean you're wearing a, a what looks like a, a sweater that looks like your grandmother could have knitted it Got it from Target. Shh, don't ruin the illusion. Oh. And I filmed a porno in this. Really? Yeah. Hmm. What was the character? Sweet girlfriend gets surprised by her boyfriend who did something cute. And then she sucks his dick. Yes, and then he rips the sweater off. But it's intact. And over my head. Oh, not like tear it. Not right. fun. Perverted mind. That would be hot if someone. That, that'd be that'd be pretty fucking hard to tear. No. This uh, sweater. <laughs> You're quite a fan of it too. 